What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Sinstrom and welcome to the channel. So if you've been following along, you'll see that we are doing a color change on the car. This is the fifth video of the series. And today we should be tackling this quarter panel. And I think I'm gonna do the front bumper. That is the, the objective today so that I'm not leaving all the really, really difficult parts for the very end, which I usually tend to do, but being on a time crunch, I don't want to do that this go around. Oh man, I just made the mistake of eating an Arby's half pound beef and cheddar and medium fries, and now I'm like really tired. I don't want to do anything. But we got to do this, we got to get it done. Shouldn't ate so much food. Now, quarter panel. Quarter panel is going to be fun because there's just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of prep work. I need to, oh, so I need to lay tape and molding tape all along to get all the way down in there. That's dirty. I'll need to wipe all that too. So to get all the way down in there and not have any white showing like I did on this side, so as you can see, no light. All the way down to the, all right camera, focus. All the way down and it's under that molding. Same thing back here. So all the way down and under the molding. So, man, just a lot of work. And I need to lay the knifeless tape all in this jam, all across, and make sure that we also get vinyl down in here for what that doesn't cover. Same as on the other side. So prep work is essential. Planning ahead is essential with wraps. It's not just grabbing a piece of vinyl and throwing it on. Uh, I mean, you can do that, and then you can just take a blade to the paint or whatever, or just try to push the stuff behind moldings and stuff. But when you plan ahead and you get everything set up, your odds of success are much better. Oh, man, I just ate too much food. All right, so I gotta tackle this. I gotta start laying some tape lines down, get all this panel completely cleaned up. I think Craig is going to get the black pieces cut so that we can do the chrome delete on this side, or actually we'll probably cut all of them. He'll probably start on this chrome delete. I might run over here and record them a little bit, uh, but I will do the other side and record that hopefully tomorrow or the next day so that I can show you exactly how to do that. Um, he will also come in here and hold the camera while I put the handles in so that I can show you guys exactly how to reinstall these handles or how I do it. I don't know if it's the right way, but it works <laughs> because I don't know what the right way is, but it works if someone's a technician and they want to chime in and tell me if I'm doing it wrong, I would love that and would be very grateful. All right, so that would be the game plan today and probably get the material cut for the bumper so we have that sectioned off. We can get the trunk stuff situated. We can get the rocker pieces situated. Um, and then we won't have to worry about cutting any more material. I'll see how much material I have left to play with. That's the game plan, guys. I'm done talking. I gotta get to work. I almost forgot. Before we get started, check out the rings from yesterday. Yeah, very, very happy with these. Again, some people might bash the it's spray paint. But this looks way better. If you go back into the video from yesterday and look at how terrible the chrome was looking, I would say that's a win. Now we're getting back to work. All right, so we have the knifeless tape 
Lay it all the way down and inside the jam. And we have the molding pulled back to tuck in. So I would say this panel is about ready. Give it a final wipe down. And we should be good to go. for everybody quarter panel is almost done of course it's taking longer than usual because of these moldings but it is all tucked oh pain in the ass same thing with ouch And then you can see where the tape line so the roof's gonna be gloss black it'll overlap that about about quarter inch eighth an inch or so this took forever we got Craig over here doing some chrome delete give you guys kind of a sneak peek Yeah, I agree. Gloss black on the blue. Ah, oh, so much better than the chrome. Starting to come together, guys. Take that out. Stupid. I'm gonna die. That stuff. No, if y'all are ever gonna do rap, don't leave this stuff on the ground. It's Terrifying and very dangerous. You might fall. You might fall. Woo! All right. Recording. All right. So whenever you're gonna cut something, especially something like this chrome delete, you're gonna want to get this in this edge, crevice, corner, whatever. So there's the chrome, and then there's the molding right behind it. Make sure you got a fresh blade. You just want to get right along that molding. And I mean, we're not applying much pressure. Enough pressure to stay right in that little gap. And you're just going to run that gap. Don't get in any rush doing this. Take your time because you don't want to redo the whole thing because of a dirty cut.
See, Craig, you got this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so here, I'll show you guys. Just uh. Come on. I'm about to say. I was like, damn, I didn't even cut the whole thing. So, as you can see, there's no chrome. So what we'll do is we'll heat this up. Where's my handy dandy squeegee? Yeah. This little guy. Little oh, pinky. Yeah. So we'll heat this up. Get that in there. No moss chrome. So that's basically that. Same thing with under here. You're gonna find the gap. Get in there, angle it away from the chrome, and you're gonna run it. But you always start at one end, work your way down. So for time's sake, I'm not gonna show all this, but I'll, uh, I'll show you this as soon as it's all done and cut and trimmed. We'll show you how this looks. Ooh, we lost focus. There we go. So there is the Chrome Delete. Yeah. So much better. More way now? More way no, Craig says. We'll go with that. More way no with a thumbs up. Just one. It's like a Facebook like. Way no. Go ahead and take a step back. See how much cleaner that looks without chrome? Don't mind how dirty it is. I got fingerprints and stuff all over it, but that is nice. Mo better. So we are already running behind. It's past nine o'clock. I think everything gave us issues today. Yeah? Yeah, he had issues, I had issues, we have issues. <laughs> we shouldn't have ate so much Arby's. So motivation levels low, tired, but I'm gonna show you guys how to put these handles in real quick and we're gonna call it a night. Okay, so now that we have Craig here to help with Recording. If y'all remember, I told y'all to put this plug on the little slider holder thing that I'm sure they designed for a reason. So you'll need to pull that out. This is only going to go on one way. Click. And so before we get too ahead of ourselves, don't forget to put this on. <laughs> so You'll see it's got a little slider spot here that you're gonna make sure you get in, slide into place. Those are there, and then you got two more on this side that need to go over. So, there, that's good. Now, don't get in a hurry with this. Watch out. So, you're gonna make sure that. All right, now the fun part that needs two hands. Let me make sure that this is all the way. Need a flashlight. Huh? Do you need a flashlight? Yeah. All right, um, well, do you want to get a flashlight? Do you know one? Do you see it? I see I it. I see it. Okay. Yeah, that's actually probably a good idea. Okay, so there's this lever right here. All right, guys, so there's this lever right here. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this lever, this goes 
on this side of the handle. So what we have to do is, again, like I said earlier, this probably is not the correct way, but so flathead, it'll fit in there. Let's see, I'm just gonna put the handle over there and I'm gonna apply pressure that way. Take that out, we're good to go. So now we reverse this Torx. Hit me in the head. Oh, so this is the slider that I told you the Torx moves. So you see how this is clockwise. This is tightening it, puts it this way, which will lock in this. Counterclockwise moves it back towards the front of the car. So counterclockwise releases it. Now we're gonna go clockwise. Righty tighty until we're snug and we have the door handle. Now, <laughs> that took me a little while to figure out. <clears throat> I don't know if it's the right way to do it, but it clearly works. That's my method. Now again, I'm gonna do a whole video on removing and reinstalling the handles, but for the sake of this whole video in this series, now you guys know. Well, we got to incorporate some new stuff for you today at least. So the Chrome Delete, which we didn't finish this side. This piece is kind of a pain. We got the handles in all around. We have this quarter panel is done. Door handles are back in. I'm gonna demonstrate the chrome delete on this side. Oh, uh, do 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 do. We got bumpers and trunk and rockers, which isn't that bad. Well, and roof. Roof is last. I gotta get the car back on the ground because I'm too short to do it while it's on jack stands. Mirrors. Mirrors are gonna be a lot of fun, guys. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do one piece or two piece. I have to somehow make a flat sticker wrap around this. So, that should be fun. That should be a fun experience. <laughs> Craig's over here playing. I'm calling it, it's I don't know, 9.30, 9.45, something like that. It's really difficult working 10 and a half hours a day. I wake up at 3.30, I'm at work by 4.30, I leave at 3.30, get home, I'm 4 p.m.-ish, play with the dog, eat, get started on the car by five, work till about nine to 10, that's four or five hours a night that I get to work on this car which isn't a lot, but it's slowly getting done. Bear with me guys. It's Wednesday night, we have Thursday, and then Friday night if we have to pull an all-nighter, we'll pull an all-nighter, we've done it before. How long did we stay up finishing Vincent's car? 30 something, almost 40 hours? After the show, yeah. I think we worked on it straight for 18 hours. But we finished it and we got it to the car show and we'll finish this and we'll get it to the car show. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. There's more to come. You are not going to want to miss this car finished because I see it in my head and I know how it, whoo, it's going to look good. Stay tuned. See you guys tomorrow.